Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of AM2R, another Metro 2 remake, where today we cleared the tower. I mean, yesterday we cleared the tower, so today we're going to uh, continue on our journey down the planet. Actually, we're getting pretty close to the point where we're going to go up the planet again, so... So that's going to be fun. And if you didn't take the hint, by that I meant that we are slowly heading towards the end of the game. Not all that slowly, to be honest. We've got this area, it's like the water area, and then we've got one more stone area, like a short one, and then we're already in the Metroid Hive. So my estimate is like three more episodes, I'd say. Obviously, that may or may not be accurate, depending on my performance in these episodes, so... Do you take that with a grain of salt? Ah, I didn't show the scan again, did I? I'll edit it in afterwards if I do remember. Actually, I mean, I could show it right now, but I kind of don't want to, so I'm not going to do that. Welcome to the annoying enemies. Annoy- to the most annoying enemies in the game. Kind of. Not really, but they are really fucking annoying. So, uh, fun fact about these saw blades. Um, on my first run, I actually didn't know that you can destroy them. STUPID! These are really fun. On my first run, I didn't actually know that you can destroy them. So, I just kind of tried to avoid them. And that meant taking a ton of unnecessary damage. And here, I'm gonna show you why these are really fun. This room's like completely filled up with these balloon things. And it's just absolutely mad going through one of these rooms. Now, we're just gonna spam that. If you didn't pay attention, we couldn't go right there because that door would be grayed out. Now, obviously, most of you will have seen that, but there's always that one guy who doesn't pay attention, so. I mean, or gal, or gal. No, it doesn't really matter. Let's just go through here, go through here. We could, of course, wait for all of this, but I honestly don't want to see those four blowing up, so... No, definitely not. Not doing that. Right. Now, we're at this facility's power switch. Where we're gonna start seeing all these drones whiz by, and they're actually carrying energy orbs. As you can see here, this facility is a power distribution center. Basically, these orbs are just extremely volatile batteries. Not these orbs. And it has a ton of drones that it basically uses to distribute that energy across the planet. Now, basically, in every earlier area, there was... In every earlier area, there was a... Um, like, a random round hole with a Chozo marking on it. That I didn't even interact with, so you might have missed it. And... Exactly, these ones... They're slots for the batteries, and they open up a secret area to an item. So what you saw there was these orbs exploding. That's what happens when you hit them with an energy weapon, which is anything that's not a missile, basically. And they blow up and they create a massive EMP field, which obviously you don't want to stand in because it disables your gun. This roll down here, have this roll down here, and have this hole in here. There we go. Now we could go to the left, but that's where we came from, so we're not gonna do that. There's going to be a Metroid fight right here. Which isn't 
gonna get a hard fight, obviously, but... I will say that I, I find it kind of hard. Just because all these orbs are lying around, so every time you shoot a beam shot, basically... Basically, every time you shoot a beam shot, or he does his claw attack, your blaster gets the same, which is nice. Very long. Also, there's that slab in the middle that she keeps jumping on, so that makes the fight even more annoying in case it wasn't already enough. Oh, stop. Yeah, shit. I knew there was some rummaging around outside. So I wasn't interrupting you in half, but whatever, I guess. Stop! No, it'd be fine if the fucking orbs did anything to him. Make anything. But they don't, so it's not. There we go. Dude! Like... Oh. Alright, now we're gonna continue up. As for power-ups, in this area we're gonna get the Ice Beam, uh, the Screw Attack, and the Gravity Suit. So it's actually quite the important area. With all the best and latest goodies in the game. So that's very cool. Courtesy of Kanye. <laughs> okay, the joke is old at this point. Ow, 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 that was my fault. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. So what you're supposed to do in this room is get this ball and the MP of the ball disables all these balloons in the, room, in the area. What you're supposed to do is get the ball, disable all the balloons. What I did was not that, obviously. And I'm half dead. Because of my uh, brilliant gameplay, so that's lovely. I'm gonna get this ball, get it down there. There we go. I'd rather not shoot too much in this area, honestly. Oh, really? And they're gonna explode. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that's quite low on health, wouldn't you agree? Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This way. There we go. Okay, on our way back, we're gonna. Come on. There! My goodness! So... Due to my amazing gameplay, you're gonna have to put up with that sound for a bit, unfortunately. Oh boy, I'm not standing here. Goodbye. Goodbye! Almost at the screw attack. Woo! I'm not taking any risks. Screw you. Screw you, game. I'm not taking any risks with this one. But I will gladly take your drops, so that's cool. There we go, and that's the screw attack. So... I can just go through this entire area, though I will say... That I feel like the dev did overkill it a little bit with the screw attack blocks in this area. 
because you can just straight up destroy everything with the screw attack. So sometimes when you want to get up on a ledge, it's just like, whoops, I accidentally destroyed the ledge. Great. Lovely. And that happens a lot more, well, happened a lot more in my first run especially, than I would like to admit, but I kind of admitted it right there, so hey. I'm gonna save here, and then I'm gonna see how far we can get, because I would like to get the other items as well, like the ice beam and shit. Now this is like a bubble column that also spawned at the area where we went in here. If you recall, we went in here with falling blocks, and if you would try to go back, then you would be stopped by a bubble column that you can't get past if you don't have the ice beam, so you have to get in this area once you enter. And obviously, you have to enter it on the longer playthrough mode because you're not gonna lower the lava. Otherwise. It's quite an interesting thing, it's like you freeze it and then you shatter it with a missile, but... Well, these fishies, obviously this spot is going to give us speed boosters as soon as we have a gravity suit, which is going to be cool. As usual, underwater, try to stay in morph ball when you don't have to issue it because, well, it's a lot faster. Boom, double kill, easy. Well, I say easy, but... This is either an annoying fight... Wait. What? Did that guy just survive two super missiles? Oh, that's cool. Die. How dare you survive multiple super missiles, dude. And I lost the drops from the first one because I'm not fast enough. Right. And this time, I don't actually mean not being fast enough from a player perspective, but I actually mean from a gameplay movement speed perspective. Oh, come on, die. Please. Oh my god. Come up here. No. Come up here. Come on. Holy shit. There's another room with like fucking 20 alpha metroids in it. Yeah, we're probably not gonna go there yet, and we shouldn't have gone here yet in the first place. Lovely! Great! So I'll slog my way back. That kind of bothers me now. Great. Lovely. Cool. <sighs> All the Metroids in it. Lovely. I missed my Super Missile. Amazing. I landed one hit up to this point. Oh, that's going great. Please all die. <laughs> Funny thing actually, there's two Metroid spawns, like two Metroid spawn symbols in this room. So I'm gonna assume there's like a hard cap on how many enemies can spawn on one tile, like how many Metroids. There's one. I assume there's, a, there's a, like a hard cap on how many metrics can spawn in one tile, so I had to use two tiles to make this possible. Which should be... Should be a cool thing, but um... This fight's just annoying, honestly. There's so many fucking metroids. I'm 
Lovely. I am mm, I'm the god of super missiles. Hell yeah. Anyways, that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, there's a button for that as well. And if you'd like to see more, then hit that big red subscribe button. And I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later. Thank you.